Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix communication error with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, shut down your computer first, then unplug the power cable from the computer and then turn off the Wi-Fi router. Wait for a few seconds, restart your Wi-Fi router, connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use VPN. So this has worked for many uh, players, so it might work for you. So you can use any free VPN and then you can launch the game and then check. If you're already using the VPN, you can turn off the VPN. So try both turn on and turn off the VPN and then check. Next step is to uncheck IPv6. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel. Go to network and internet. Go to network and sharing center and then click on your network go to properties and then over here scroll down make sure ipv4 is checked over here and then scroll down here you can see i uh, internet protocol version 6 ipv6 if this is checked uncheck this and then click on ok and then you can launch the game and then check now once you are done playing the game you can always enable it so once you are done playing the game, you can put a check on this and then click on OK. Now, still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now for this, if you have any third party antivirus program, like if you have Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, open Windows security, then go to privacy and security, open Windows settings, privacy and security, Windows security, and then virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it, click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, click on browse all apps. And then go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file. Now this is the location in my case, select the game exe file and then click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings allow another app, click on browse, select the game exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game as an administrator. Now for this, go to Steam, make a record in the game, manage, browse local files. And then here you can see the game exe file, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. Still not working, the next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working restart steam so go to steam at the top left click on steam and then click on exit and then relaunch steam and then launch the game next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is correct on your computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time click on adjust date and time and then make sure set time zone automatically if this is off turn it on turn on set time automatically and then click on sync now this is important click on sync now and then go to time and language, go to language and region, and then select your country. And then you can launch the game. Next step is to run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app and then run as administrator. This is important. Always open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy all these commands one by one. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now, once this is done, now restart the computer. Restart the must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. 
The next step is to allow the game exe file, which we have already done. You can skip this step. Next step is to try Google DNS server. Now for this, you can type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, network and internet, network sharing center, click on your wi uh, Wi-Fi, uh, click, click on your network, go to properties, and then over here, uh, select internet protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. And then once you select it, click on properties. And over here, select use the following DNS server addresses. Now for this, uh, for preferred DNS servers, type in 8888. And then for alternate DNS server, type in 8844. And then put a check on validate settings upon exit and then click on OK. Close this. Let it complete. Close this. Close. Now you can launch the game and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to switch to different network. So if you have any other network available, you can try switching to different network. And once you're connected to different network, now you can launch the game and then check. You can even use your cell phone hotspot. So turn on the data on your phone and then turn on the hotspot on your phone and then you can go to Wi-Fi and then over here, if you see your phone network, you have to connect to your phone network. And once you're connected to the phone network, you can check. Again, if you're using VPN, you can try both on and off and check which one is working fine. Next step is you use ethernet connection. So if your computer has an ethernet port and if you have an ethernet cable, you can use the wired connection and then you can launch the game and then check. The last step is to update Windows to the latest version. So go to Windows settings, Windows update, and then go click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the communication error with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.